Good evening to you and welcome. If you're just joining us, we begin with this. A sting operation by the Labour Department officials is currently underway at a restaurant in Menlin. That's here in Gauteng. It comes after the eatery's management was accused of exploiting workers on social media. Let's speak now to Newsroom Africa's Mobile Madlala, who is live for us in Pretoria this hour. Mobile, good evening to you. Tell us exactly what the name of that restaurant is and why it is being raided this hour. Well, Polly, the name of the restaurant is Barbell Restaurant. And really, at this point, there are questions around how they treat their people, whether they're being exploited or not, and whether or not they have the right documentation. And this is why we find various departments at this point, from the Department of Labor and Employment, we've got immigration here, we've got the Hawks as well. They are currently looking at their documentation um, that they have of their staff on my right-hand side already. That's where they are. I want to bring in the DSG, the, the DG, to speak to us though about this. DG, amongst other things, is a video that we saw on social media that details how workers feel that their rights have been infringed on. Can you tell us what other complaints did you get? Well, you know, so there's a, a myriad of complaints that we have, particularly regarding the people not necessarily complaining uh, while complying with labor laws and which is why the Department of Employment and Labor is here. So we also have received some complaints related to other nefarious activities that are happening in the establishment, which is why we have a joint operation from the Hawks, uh, Employment and Labor, and also Home Affairs to ensure that uh, all the other aspects of law issues uh, that have been reported to us are actually attended to. It is not new, all right. it is something that has been concerning to us. We have had a number of uh, visits and inspections in the past week or two, uh, and this issue has been coming up quite prominently. We are concerned about certain industries, particularly the hospitality has come up to be a bit of a risk for us. So we want to make sure that uh, you know, uh, people comply with the law. What sort of experts of issues are coming out in the hospitality industry? Well, look, I mean, amongst other things um, is the fact that people are not observing occupational health care and safety uh, what are practices and also basic conditions of employment are not necessarily adhered to. Uh, there are complaints from employees that they are being abused, they're not necessarily being remunerated appropriately and properly, and they are made to work extraordinary hours that are not necessarily within the confines of the law. They are actually made to pay for stuff that uh, we believe that they should not necessarily be paying for, including uniform in certain instances, and uh, as you have picked up also on that video, the young person there indicating that uh, they have been uh, actually uh, requested or forced for that matter to pay for cutlery and related matters that actually supposed to be provided by, by the establishment. Tell me what you're looking for specifically in this restaurant then. So specifically we're wanting to make sure that um, one, uh, all employees that are here are documented, firstly. Secondly, we want to make sure that the laws in terms of actual hours of employment are observed. To, are observed. Uh, thirdly, we want to make sure that uh, there is proper contribution in terms of compensation uh, and the, in terms of compensation fund, and there's also compliance in terms of the unemployment insurance fund. And there's a whole lot of other laws that we are making sure that there's compliance with that are within the, the, the purview of the Department of Employment and Labor. And DJ, just behind you, as you speak to me, you can see there, um, Koli, they're basically doing an inspection. So inspectors looking in terms of the health, as he says, there are compliances that needs to be followed. And that's currently taking place behind us as we, as, as we continue this conversation. But also now, all the employees have been brought to the other side. What are you expecting to get from that other side? Well, firstly, I mean, first of all, we need to understand and, uh, and document all the employees that are here and understand that um, who they are and whether they have the, the, got the requisite uh, documentation in terms of their, you know, them being in South Africa legally or illegally. But also, though, it is important for us to also talk to them and understand their own experiences all right, so that we can then attend to those complaints, if ever there are any, from them as well. And in a case where you find that there are certain areas where they're not compliant, what will happen next? 
Well, so that's why we have uh, all the other relevant law enforcement uh, agencies with us. And to an extent that there's law that has not been complied with and uh, the necessary action would be taken. If ever people have to be jailed, then they will be jailed, right? Uh, so we want to make sure that uh, we leave no stone unturned, whether it is the owner himself or the employees themselves, all right? To an extent that they don't comply with any of our country's laws. We want to make sure that, uh, you know, the law takes its, co uh, its own course there. And lastly, what has taken you so long to get to do this sting operation? Well, so one of the difficult issues with uh, matters of compliance, you rely a lot in your own risk assessment or that you do to scan the horizon and understand the risk there. But most importantly, you rely a lot on the public to come forward and, 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 and share with us their own experiences. So we do want to encourage uh, more of our citizens that are picking up these particular issues, like the young lady that uh, came out in public, to do the same so that we can then be able to attend to these particular issues. Of course, we have a very big country. We have a, a widespread uh, area that we need to cover. So it's not always easy to get everywhere. But we are establishing additional capacity within the department to attend to some of the, from an inspectorate point of view, to attend to some of these particular matters. Thank you very much, DG, for speaking to us. I want to show you, Koli, just what's taking place here. So you'll remember that he spoke about the documentation, and that documentation is currently taking place here. This is where they are ensuring, sorry, ma'am. Um, oh, this is where they're ensuring, they basically, these are some of the workers within this restaurant, and they're currently being booked. You can see there that's an immigration officer that's currently looking at them and getting their details. This is to ensure, that, again, that they are properly documented. What you see there in front of you, are some of the documents that they've asked the restaurant to also provide. As we were coming in, they were saying that do they have licenses, do they have documentation for their workers, and this is some of those documents that are being brought in. Main issue, um, they have, in a way, um, ill-treated some of their worker going on Twitter and, and basically blowing the whistle and what is taking place here, and these are some of the things that they've asked if it is indeed taking place and they're looking at that. We are told that the young lady that was on on social media in the video that they have to buy their own uniform, that um, they're asked to, they're not remunerated properly. And so that documentation should be able to reveal um, all those details that are needed by the various departments that are currently here. Four departments, Labor of labor and Employment, the Hawks are here, Immigration is here. So there's, there's a lot that is taking place here, but of course we'll keep um, you on the loop as it unfolds. Obile Madlala, thank you very much for that update live for us at that restaurant in the Menlin area. That's in uh, Pretoria. Good to see the government officials um, really responding to people as they complain, whether it be via social media, which was exactly the case here.